Hey fam, the word of encouragement for today is Jesus replied, you do not realize what I am doing, but later you will understand. What's up fam? It's your girl Sheree Nicole and I am back with another video. Yes, honey. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you the fastest way to finger coil your hair in my book at least. So if you are interested in that, stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, fam. So today we're gonna be starting out with Cantu Shea Butter for natural hair, wave whip curling mousse. So that's what we're gonna be using. And guys, I absolutely love this stuff. Like this stuff is phenomenal, okay? Now for the sake of the video, I will be fast forwarding it, but right here I just wanted to show you how cute it looks when you do it. It's like a cute little coil. <laughs> so that is literally like the only product that I used. Now when we get to the back, I'm gonna show y'all what I really had to do because the back was just like, no, you will not coil me today. <laughs> but I'm gonna just let y'all go ahead and watch this video. It's super easy, super, super self-explanatory. And I mean, I'll chime in when I need to. So yes, fam, you definitely can find this product on Amazon. I will definitely have the links down below because this was super easy, like I said before. Like, it just, it's so amazing. I don't even know how to describe it, but <laughs> when you separate your curls or whatever, it's going to be effortless. It's not like those other products where it leaves your hair crispy and, you know, you don't want breakage to be in your hair. Like this foam wrapping mousse or whatever, this wave whip, like this is really good stuff. It leaves your curls really nice and shiny and that's the part I absolutely love. Plus they're manageable. So like I said, the links will be down below. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for all my naturalistas out there, all my natural girls, okay? Make sure y'all give this video a big thumbs up because I'm loving this stuff. And don't worry about my hair looking white. I know it looks extremely white. Like the more product, the better. You're going to see, I'm going to say that again and again and again, because the more products, the better, honey, okay? don't mind if you see some straight pieces on the end like your girl just did her big chop okay and <laughs> we're not here for the negativity okay so like i said in my previous videos if i do have some straight pieces i cut them off as i see them and they will be going going gone okay <laughs> but for the video you know i definitely just did the twists or the finger coils or whatever and that's it yeah and then at the end i actually cut them off but i cut them off off camera so you guys don't have to worry about that but my hair texture in the front i will say is a very loose texture compared to the rest of my head it's almost like the front of my head is the loosest the middle of my head is looser not looser than the front but looser than the back and then the back is like you know the kitchen okay honey we already know what goes down in that kitchen and it ain't food So in some point of this video, I will be slowing it down just so you guys can see how I finger coil the hair. I mean, it's super simple. You literally just wrap it around your finger, but I kind of like try to put tension on the root area and then I start wrapping. But like I said, I'm going to slow that down so you can see that or whatever. So right here, I'm just detangling the hair and I want to make sure that I get that really nice and detangled because if you don't get those curls detangled, honey, what are you doing, sis? Okay? Because them ends is going to be looking cray cray. Okay? They're not going to be coiling around anything. <laughs> They're going to be coiling around themselves. Yes, fam, and just in case you're wondering if I put anything else in my hair, yes, I did, okay? Your girl's not gonna be out in these streets with dry scalp, okay? But I did have to wash out that crunchy gel that was in my hair for the last four days, honey. 
it was time for that thing to go, okay? So we are definitely dealing with fresh washed hair, which I absolutely love. And what I used was that VO5 that I showed you in my first video from Dollar Tree. It smells amazing. So the shampoo that I used was actually the VO5 Extra Body. So if y'all see that in Dollar Tree, y'all gonna need to pick that up, okay, honey? Because it smells amazing. Not that your girl needs extra body in her hair, okay? <laughs> But let's move on to what else I put in my hair. So the next thing that I put in my hair was actually this thing called Defeel. I hope I'm saying it right. And it's it's literally saying different feel. So I guess that's why it's abbreviated like that. And it's 99% natural for pro growth. So that is the oil that I'm using. Like I said, fam, all the links will be down below in the description box of everything that I'm using, including that Cantu Wave Whip Curling Mousse. Yes, honey because it is popping. By this time fam your girl was like well let's get up in that kitchen honey <laughs> so right here i'm just adding some more of that cantu whip curling mousse and it is doing the job honey okay Yes, fam. So right here is what I was talking about when we get up in this kitchen, okay? So your girl had to add some of that, um, what do we call that? That was the Garnier Fructis Curl Nourish Leave-In Treatment because that back, honey, that back was not having it. It was like, no, no, girl, you will not twist me. You will not curl me. You will not coil me today, okay? <laughs> Okay fam, so right here is where I actually slowed the video down because I just wanted to go in and show you guys. So you see how I started twisting? Then I took the hair and got closer to the root and then started really wrapping it around my finger. That's so you could get up in that root and make the root a little bit tighter because you're gonna need it, you know what I mean? And you want everything there to curl and coil around your finger, you're gonna have to go in a little bit tighter on that scalp, honey, okay? And fam, don't forget to stay tuned for part two because there will be a part two to this video because you know we got to take these coils out and see what it really looks like, okay? So your girl has to dry her hair. I think I'm going to just leave it natural, probably plop a wig on my head and go. That way it can dry naturally and I don't have to apply any heat to this hair. But your girl definitely does love heat, but I'm going to try not to, okay? <laughs> but go ahead and keep watching this video and yeah, I'll chime in when I need to. Be my 
Y'all see that shrinkage, fam? Like, what? The shrinkage is real over here, okay? These ha this hair is not playing, like, <laughs> compared to how it looks when I twist it, yeah. Definitely, definitely playing games. The shrinkage is real, y'all. And after it's twisted, how long it is? Like, <laughs> what? That's funny. Really? I missed a piece? Because it keeps springing back. And y'all see them straight pieces? I can't wait. I gotta get rid of them things. Oh, that's from here. Okay. Listen, I really think that this is the quickest way to do your finger coils. Okay. I mean, feel free to add more products to your hair. For me, I want to see how this is going to work because I used this on my Wave Nouveau here and this product, where did it go? Oh, <laughs> this product worked really, really well on my Wave Nouveau. Like the curls was popping and then they were just like, oh, it was beautiful. So this, this is a staple. So we're going to see how this works on my natural hair because I am curious, baby. Yes. It doesn't leave your hair crispy. That's the one thing I do like about the Cantu. It's not, um, it's not like crispy. Like I have another one. I don't remember the name of the brand that I have, but if I find it, I will definitely show you. But that's exactly why I'm not using that one today because that one leaves your hair crispy. And like I said, I really like that this one leaves your hair manageable. There you go. <laughs> manageable and movable. Like you can still move your, your hair without it like you know what i mean like ripping apart and stuff like that so i like this one it leaves it really nice and juicy and the curls oh my goodness the curls be shiny like you have no idea so like i said i did this on my wave nouveau so now i am doing this on my natural hair because your girl wants to see how this is going to turn out on her natural hair I'm trying to find y'all the best angle because this, I've never like tried to get this on camera. Look at the straight pieces, those gotta go. I love my hair. It just springs right back. My hair texture is very, very different. It's like almost like a Z, like a zigzag like that. And then some of them actually go like this, like little ringlets, it's so cute. <laughs> if I have a picture, I'll show you guys. Cause I think I took a picture a while ago of my hair and I was amazed. I was like, look at it, it's a Z formation. I was like, OMG, that's so cute. <laughs> so yes, your girl has been going in and cutting the straight pieces as I see them. So once I'm done with this, I'm definitely going back in and cutting these straight pieces. I did pretty good on this job, you don't see too many. And if they're like very tiny, they, they'll come off, like I just take them right off. But like I said, my curls in the front are very, very loose, so I have to be careful, because I'll just keep cutting and then I'll end up with no hair. Those little straight pieces that you might see in the back, yeah, them things gotta go. This is what it's looking like right now. You see the white? It dried up, so you don't have to worry about how white it gets and stuff like that. Like I constantly tell y'all, the more product, the better. You see, like this one came out because <laughs> I must have combed it when I was doing this piece, but I'll just redo that. It's been a minute, my hair is probably like, what is this and what is going on? We're just gonna work some more in there. And then yeah, feel free to add water and stuff to your hair, but so far it's literally probably been like, <laughs> it's probably been about 40 minutes. It hasn't been that long. Half my head took about 25 minutes, so that's not bad. It's the back, okay, it's the back for me. <laughs> I can't wait to see this video because I wanna see what the back of my head looks like too. <laughs> That Cantu is the truth. Like that, that gets your curls popping. Look at that. That's nice. Fam, 
them so that pretty much concludes this video yes and the front is pretty much dry the back and everything the middle is still wet so i'm probably gonna have to go under the blow dryer and get this dry but i will see you guys in my next video make sure you comment like share subscribe if you haven't already because your girl gets it in with everything over here hence the name a little bit of everything and i will see you guys in my next video bye